Hello there YouTube, this is your boy Kirito Gaming and um I can also go by my uh YouTube handler Kirito HD Gaming. Um so let's get started. Today we're gonna be going over my best attachment um guide um for the new season Solus Raid. So let's get started. So before we start with weapons, I will go over two things before we start. Um, actually, you can make it three things. Um, for shotguns, I use Reflex A and Laser for all shotguns in the game. If the shotgun allows like long, uh, extended barrel or something like that, then I'll add extended barrel. But if it doesn't, it's just going to be Reflex A and Laser. All pistols will be using muzzle brake besides IQ. IQ will be using the suppressor for her pistol. And then for the shield ops, I also use a laser. And then the other next step would be DMRs. On all DMRs in this game, I run a 2.0 for the scope and then muzzle break. I'm also thinking about running a laser sight. I haven't decided directly on that yet. But let's get started with sledge. For sledge, I use 1.5 compensator vertical grip, and then I use frag grenades for his gadget. For Thatcher, I use you could use uh, one. Uh, I use 1.5 scope sometimes. I use a 2.0. Very little would you see me use a 2.5. Uh, I use compensator vertical grip. You could also use flash hider if you wanted to. It all is personal preference at the end of the day. Um, for the L85, I use between 1.5 and 2.0 compensator vertical grip. And then I use claymores. Ash, I use the G36 normally. I use 1.5 vertical grip flash hider. I used to use compensator. It's, it's personal preference. I will probably still go back and forth. But right now I'm on uh, flash hider. But if I use the R4C, I use red dot C compensator and vertical grip. Matter of fact, you could probably drop that down to flash hider. Actually, I don't remember. Honestly, I can't remember which one was better at this moment. But flash hider and comp are both good for that gun, in my opinion. And then I use the claymore. For thermite, I use um, for thermite for the 556. I use a 2.0 compensator vertical grip. Every once in a while, you'll see me drop down and use the ACOGs, but you won't see me use anything below these three. And I use smoke grenades for the plant. Twitch. I use 1.5 flash hider vertical grip, but you can also use uh, red dot C. It depends on the play style I'm doing at the moment. But at the moment, every time I have found myself using Twitch, I'm more of a, out of a distance. So I use the 1.5 over the red dot C. But if I'm going to be playing maps that are very, uh, that I would expect myself to be inside the map quick and easy and everything, I would probably use the red dot C. But I don't normally use, to be honest, I don't normally use Twitch anyways. Claymores for a gadget. I'm skipping Montaigne. Glass. Um, I guess I, I use Red Dot C, Muzzle Break, and Vertical Grip. Like I said, DMR is Muzzle, but you do get the chance to use Vertical Grip on his Sniper now, and I prefer Vertical over Angle. And then for the Berry 9, this is all Berry 9s in total matter of fact i don't know why i'm using hollow a i use hollow c on this gun but hollow c and muzzle break i'm thinking about using laser so i haven't decided on that yet and i use i use between i use all three of these gadgets depending on, on the map fuse for the LMG, the 6P41, I use a 1.5 flash hider vertical grip. And for the AX12, I use 1.5 muzzle brake vertical grip. 
uh other people use flash hider but honestly i found the better ones to be compensator and muzzle it's because flash hider had uh, inconsistent to left and right for me um i did put a video out on twitch but i don't know if it's there anymore or not i actually spent the whole like two or three hours going through the shooting range with every gun and everything and then I normally use the hard breach charge, but if there's no hatch, I'll be using breach charge or smoke grenade. Probably breach charge normally because I'll probably be playing vertical. But if if you catch me never playing vertical and you catch me like maybe fusing the, the uh, objective on the outside, but like with them instead of above them, then yeah, I'll probably run smokes. Um, skip blitz, IQ. Okay, for AUG A2, I use the 1.5 Compensator. For the Commando, I use the 1.5 Muzzle Brake and Vertical. For the GA1, I use Hollow A, Flash Hider, and Vertical. Like I said earlier, I use the Suppressor for her pistol. And I use Clay Morris. For Buck, I use 1.5 Compensator. Sometimes you might catch me dropping down to Red Dot C. And then I use the Gon 6, and then I use the Hard Breach Charge. So I got a soft breach with buck shotgun. I have a soft breach slash a castle breach with the gun six. And then I have a hard breach charge for either castles or walls. Okay, Blackbeard. I use the 1.5 flash hider vertical grip. And then for the SR25, like I said earlier, 2.0 muzzle and vertical and um, I won't be going the, over the DMRs anymore. That's just because I did say it earlier. And then Claymore. Um, I don't normally use Blackbeard, so it's going to stick to Claymore because I'm never going to use Blackbeard to help out get the wall or nothing. It'd just be useless in my opinion. Um, Capitel, um 2.0 Flash Hider Vertical Grip, 2.0 Muzzle Brake Vertical Grip. I use the GON-6, I also use the LMG, and then I use Claymore's. Um, probably will, so actually, I'm probably going to stick to hard reach charges, to be honest. Habana, I use 2.0 flash hider vertical grip. Here and there, you might see me use 1.5. And then for the sh uh, shotgun, this is, now, I don't use suppressors on my shotguns. So, you won't never see me use that. I mean, I might go to it, but... I haven't decided on that yet. Let me change this to Hollow C. And then I use stun grenades. Jackal. I use 1.5 and also 2.0 depending on the uh, map. I use flash hider vertical grip. For the PDW9, I use the 1.5 muzzle brake and then vertical grip. And then I use claymores. For Ying, I use 1.5 compensator vertical grip, and I use hard breach charges. For Zofia, I use 1.5 compensator vertical grip, uh, and then for M762, I use 1.5 compensator vertical grip, and I use Claymore's. For Doki B, um. Yeah, there's nothing really I can really explain here, but I do run the EMP grenades. For Lion, I use 1.5 Compensator Vertical Grip. Sometimes you might see me use the 2.0. And I use the GON-6 and I use EMPs. For Finca, I use 1.5 Muzzle Brake Vertical Grip. Uh, LMG I said earlier. Um, normally I stick with using the AR, so you won't see me use the GON-6. And then I use smoke grenades. Maverick, I use 1.5 flash hider vertical grip. And then I use the claymores. Okay, uh, for the AK 74M, I use 1.5 compensator. For the ARX, I use a 2.0 flash hider vertical grip. And then I use the uh, red dot C for uh, Ayana. And then I prefer to use the uh, PRB9. And then I use stun grenades. 
red lock i use the 2.0 muzzle brake and vertical grip for the f90 and for the m249 saw i use the 2.0 muzzle brake vertical grip and i use the gon 6 so i do use the lmg on this class if i don't use lmg i use the f90 i do use the uh, super shorty and then i run smoke grenades for plants sometimes you might see me run it impact grenades uh impact emp grenades but very little would you see me do that okay for the fmg9 here i use the 1.5 suppressor and then i use suppressor on everything else even the deagle and then i use run i run frags amaru run the 1.5 flash hider vertical grip and for the smg11 i run red dot c muzzle break and vertical grip this is for all smg11s in the game uh, but I do run the GON-6 with the LMG. Don't ever run her anyways, and then I run stun grenades. Okay, Kali, um, just going to go over the SMG. Uh, PG-9, uh, hollow A with flash hider. And then... Claymores. Uh, don't I have black ice for this one now? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't equip to all. Okay, for Ayana, I use, I did say earlier, oh, I actually take that back. I use Red Dot C Compensator in Vertical Grip. I totally forgot. I do use Comp on our ARX for close range with Ayana since she has a Red Dot C. I, if, if I'm going to be going up close. So, yeah, I use the Compensator for this one. Flash Hider 1.5 Vertical Grip. And then Frag Grenades. Ace. I run muzzle break 1.5 vertical grip didn't change from what fuse had claim more for zero I run the 2.0 muzzle break vertical grip I use the compensator 1.5 also the same setup for bandit but I use the red dot C and then I use the 57 USG with the uh, suppressor added as you can't add the suppressor anyways and then I use claymores for the Assassin's Creed floor has, I use the 2.0 Compensator Vertical Grip and then Claymores. For Ulsa, I use 1. Point, whoa, I don't know why I'm using 2.0. I use the 1.5 Compensator Vertical Grip or 1.5 Muzzle Brake Vertical Grip for the PDW. And I, I, I actually run Claymores, but sometimes if my teammates that I run with don't want to run EMP grenades, I'll, I'll run EMPs with her. For sins, I use 1.5 Compensator Vertical Grip, and I run the God 6, and then I run Claymores. For Grim, Red Dot C Muzzle Break Vertical Grip, Claymores. Now off to the Defenders. Oh, wrong. For the Defenders, I run the 1.5 Flash Hider. Oh, that's a shotgun, and then I already said what I use for the SMG-11. And then I use the deployable shield for mute. I run hollow A muzzle break. And then C4. Castle. This the castle setup is the same setup I use for pulse. 1.5 compensator vertical grip. I run the super shorty. And then I run uh peroxy alarm. Um for pulse you don't get the sh uh secondary shotgun, so I run the pistol. But same setup for the uh UMP. And then I run C4 for dock. I run 1.5 compensator vertical grip, 1.5 compensator for the P90, and I use the bailiff, and I use the bulletproof camera for rook. Same setup. Besides, I use the 2.0. Sometimes I go down to the 1.5. I use the um, revolver, and then I run impacts. Cap can. Same. This is the same setup for all 9 by 19 VSN. Um, 1.5 flash hider vertical grip, um, but I use red dot C for a zombie and then the red dot C also for, uh, the chunka. And then I run C4 to chunka. Really can't really show anything besides the bearing nine, which I showed numerous times already. Deployable shield. And then I use the DP 27 anyways with the reflex D. I wish the reflex D was for every weapon in the game. I really like that scope. 
Okay, Jaeger. Um, I use Red Dot C muzzle brake vertical grip, and then I use the uh, bulletproof camera. Um, like I said earlier, compensator, and then Red Dot C for bandits MP7, and then the nitro cell. Frost, I run 1.5 compensator angle grip, and then I run deployable shield, but I'm probably going to start running bulletproof camera more. Um, I'm actually going to keep it on deployable shield right now, though. Okay, for the MPX, I run the hollow A compensator vertical grip. I'm actually going to change that to the red dot C. And then I run nitro cell for cavi. I run red dot C and compensator. And then impacts. And then for echo, I run the 1.5 vertical grip. And then I run the deployable shield. Okay, for Mira, I run red dot C compensator and vertical grip. And then the uh, shotgun secondary and then the nitro cell. For Legion, I run hollow A compensator vertical grip. Put that down the red dot C though. And then I run impacts. Ella, I run red dot C compensator vertical grip. And then for the shotgun, I run extended barrel laser vertical grip and reflex A. I think that's it. Yeah, it reflects A. And then deployable shield. For vigil, I run the... Why am I... Why is my thing not set right? I use red dot C compensator vertical grip. And then, you know, I might be running hollow A, really, but I don't... I don't... I just don't remember. Impact grenades. Hollow A compensator vertical grip. Yes, I do run hollow A on this one for sure. I know that. On all the ACS-12s, I run 1.5 vertical grip, no matter what. May lift and then barbed wire. Alibi, I run the MX-4 Storm with Red Dot C compensator vertical grip. As you can see, same setup here. I use the bay lift and then I use the deployable shield. And then I use the SPS MG-9 with barbed wire. Cade, I run the red dot C flash hider vertical grip and then 1.5 in vertical grip for the shotgun. And then I run the 44 mag semi-auto with the nitro cell. Mozzie, I run red dot C flash hider vertical grip, 1.5 flash hider angle grip, and then I run the nitro cell. For Warden, I run the 1.5 compensator vertical grip. And I also run the pistol instead of the SMG. And then I run nitro cell. For Goyo, I run 1.5 flash hider vertical grip. Um, I'm actually going to change. You know what? I have to go back and change the mirror real quick. And then 1.5 vertical grip and then nitro cell. So let's go back to mirror real quick. Because I'm pretty sure I have it set to comp. I'm pretty sure it needs to be flash. I'll figure it out. Okay, well, my I use the Red Dot C compensator, hollow A, and muzzle brake. I use the P12 pistol and then the impacts. Orcs, I run the 1.5 comp vertical grip, the bay lift, and then the barbed wire. Malusi, I run Red Dot C compensator vertical grip, and then I run the impact grenades. And then for um, Aruni, I run the Red Dot C compensator vertical grip for the P10 Roni. And then for the MK14 EBR, I run the 1.5 muzzle brake vertical grip. And then I run the bulletproof camera. Thunderbird, I run the hollow A vertical grip. I mean, not vert vertical grip and muzzle brake. Matter of fact, I'm going to switch to Red Dot C actually. change this to hollow C even though I'll probably use the pistol more often now nitro cell thorn I run the red dot C flash hider vertical grip and then I use the 1911 with deployable shield a zombie like I said earlier red dot C flash hider vertical grip same goes for the ACS 1.5 vertical grip with impacts 
soulless i use the red dot c compensator and same goes for the setup for the smg 11 i've been using the whole time uh, i don't have anything set up for this shotgun wow and i use impact grenades and that will be it for my guide for attachments try to make it quick smooth and easy um every season i tend to do this so i update my stuff seasonally and um uh, just to run through my settings that i run um uh, for my hud i run custom i run simplified for the compass and then i take i put number for health only instead of on and then i take the stance indicator and put that off and then all action reminders and general reminders are off for a better smoother hud and then i turn off teammate online id and then i turn off bands and then also turn off destroy drones and then that's it for my hud for the audio i run 100 master zero music 80 dialogue 80 voice and then controller speaker on hi-fi on sometimes i do go back and forth between hi-fi and night mode display i run the performance I run 84 for your view. It's the smoothest. It doesn't have any type of bugs or anything like you would have at 90. I might go back to 90. I haven't decided yet. The HUD display area I have 95. Menu display area I have at 90. And brightness I have at 55. No, 58. My bad. For controls, uh, disabled, disabled, advanced, advanced, disabled, disabled, classic, 20, 40, 10, 10. Controller ADS set to 32 standard. Aim is set to hold. Accessibility would be at light blue. Screen shake off. Blue and then orange. And then that would be it for all my settings that I use. And this is the video for my attachment guide. And also, you know, I do my settings in here too. So I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy. It, and hope it helps you play better. And... I shall see you next time. This is your boy Kirito HD Gaming signing off. Appreciate it. See you next time.